Hi everyone, in this Yvanti video we're going to take a quick look at Yvanti neurons for spend intelligence. What is it? What benefits do we get from it? How does it work? And so on. There are several other more detailed videos in this series. There's a link to the playlist in the description and the help will give even more detail and be more up to date. There's also a link to that in the description. Software asset management can be complicated. Some organizations have an entire department of highly skilled people looking after their software assets, whereas others have only one overworked individual who's feeling a little bit daunted and is desperately trying to keep on top of things while also dealing with their real job. If Antineurons for Spend Intelligence provides a set of components to help all these people, to help them get on top of their software asset management challenges and to save their organization money. In this video, I shall provide an overview of each component, explaining what it does, how it works, and what kind of information you can get from it. But before that, we need to step back and think about what's going on, because this will help us later. Many, many years ago, I briefly taught in an undergraduate chemistry laboratory. I noticed that although students could achieve a reasonable grade by just following the instructions they were given and answering, it turned blue, or whatever, the really good students who got the best results took the time to understand what they were doing, what was happening, and what differences apparently small changes in their actions would have. These students excelled. In the same way, you can just look at the pretty charts in Avanti Neurons for Spend Intelligence and report that we've got two spare licenses, so we need only buy three more of those new starters. Or you can use the dashboards to understand your software estate and report that we've got two spare licenses, but I think I can recover more so that we don't need to buy any new licenses for those new starters. Making the effort to understand what Ivanti Neurons for Spend Intelligence is showing you will help you to excel at software asset management and can save your organization a lot of money. Before we take a look at the individual components of Ivanti Neurons for Spend Intelligence, let's take a very high level look at what's going on under the covers. First, Ivanti Neurons discovers all of the software installed on your estate. This generates a lot of data that can be quite messy. There will be lots of slightly different versions of the same application, possibly in different languages or with slightly different names. Ivanti Neurons Suspend Intelligence matches all this discovered software with items in the Ivanti Definitive Software Library. Not only does this link all of the different discovered software titles that are actually the same item to the same single definitive title to give you a better idea of what's actually installed on your estate, it also knows which of these titles require a license. Similarly, when you create a connect to your single sign-on subscription, Ivanti Neurons for Spend Intelligence collects and curates a huge amount of usage data for all of the associated single sign-on applications. Finally, when you import details of your contracts or license transactions, for example, your Microsoft license statement, Ivanti Neurons for Spend Intelligence matches the SKUs in these items to SKUs in the Ivanti SKU library so that it knows exactly what software you have bought and has access to all of the additional information in the SKU library. Ivanti Neurons for Spend Intelligence now has a huge amount of information that it has supplemented with data it already knows about the software titles you are using and the licenses you have bought. It displays this treasure trove of information and a set of dashboards within the Ivanti Neurons for Spend Intelligence components. Let's take a look at those components. Software Insight shows information about the on-premise software discovered on your estate. Which client operating systems, which server operating systems, which licensable software is being used. Could any of this be upgraded? Who are your main vendors? You can drill down to see which machines the software is installed on, what other licensable software is on that machine and who is using that machine. And importantly, you can see if they are actually using that software. If they're not, you can log an Ivanti Neurons for Service Management ticket directly to request its removal. Similarly, SAS management helps you to manage your spend on software as a service subscriptions. Which SAS applications are being used? Who's using them? Who has a subscription but isn't using it? How much are we spending on these applications? And where can I save money? 
When you import licenses, contracts, or price lists into License Manager, it automatically matches the SKUs in these items to SKUs in the SKU library. This means it knows exactly what software you have bought and also has access to all of the additional information in the SKU library regarding that software title. License Manager consolidates all your licensing information into a single place and then enables you to disentangle the often complex series of base, upgrade and maintenance licenses that you have bought so that you can understand what your license entitlements are. How many licenses can I claim for the latest version of a software title? And how does this number compare with the software that is actually installed? Do I have too many or too few licenses? And how much is all of this costing me? Where can I save money? I hope you found this introduction interesting and we'll take time to look at the other videos in this series. Remember, the most successful software asset managers are those that use the tools at their disposal to truly understand their software estate. Thanks for watching.